Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be learning a little bit about Pam's Harvest Craft and doing a little update. All right, so let's hop right on into this. As you can see, a lot has changed. I mean, I have worked my butt off getting all this stuff made, making it look nice, and I went ahead and made and finished making all of the uh, mystical agriculture crops and they're all in order for the most part over here I went ahead and made some of the extra ones that I needed I needed more of the wither uh, skeleton essence I think that's how I'm going to maintain my skulls over my farm and then of course I have a bunch of the inferior essence tier 5 that I made since I had tons of the top tier essence and yeah so I have everything going here so we're good on that, and I have it set up. I don't know if you've uh, seen how I did this before, um, but I basically have energy conduit going into a flux point, really simple. And then from here to here, I have a um, item conduit who has uh, who's basically extracting from here, going into this chest, and then up here, I have it. Uh, extracting as well but it's sending hose into here when it's done so it's pulling it out and sitting in here also I have this chest right here hooked into this again into the uh, phantom vase so that way this one is definitely pulling all of that into our system now this over here is filled up to the brim I'm sure yes it's filled to the brim uh, with canola and canola seeds and sugar cane and stuff. I've been putting a bunch of that into the system. I don't need that much. And honestly, the less this is running, the less lag it is. Same with this over here. So this is all the Pam Harvest Craft items, I think. I think I did them all correctly. It was kind of hard because I had to go back and forth. But over here in the market, um, you have to make one of these markets. Let me do market show you how easy this thing is to craft um, basically you need emeralds and I have tons of emeralds and some wool and wood but you're gonna basically trade up emeralds for items and I didn't know this early game um, or I would have used this because with some of the emeralds I had because you can spawn pigs sheep cows chickens and horses which I just got myself some horses earlier and for some reason bone meal costs three I don't know why that's a thing Probably doesn't tell me how much bone mills. Probably a stack. Um, but right here we have all of the different items. All the different seeds, including vanilla seeds, but I put those separately. Um, but they're all through here, and if I can scroll all the way over far enough, we can see that there's the vanilla seeds. There's the trees. So you can also get the saplings here as well. And same with vanilla saplings. And so yeah. So I went ahead and I filled everything here with palms, uh, uh, harvest or Pam's harvest craft that I could. Same with all the trees. This is all the trees from Pam's harvest craft. I made, went ahead and made sure that I had enough uh, space to put all these trees down. And I did figure out that this amount of space is a nine by nine and putting it on each corner uh, worked very well. So I have them all out here and pathways so I can walk in between them and not have any trouble. All right, and you may be wondering what this thing is over here. Well, I didn't know about this either. This is for Pam's Harvest Craft. I will definitely be using this in the future. Right here, um, you put bait in here and you get all of these different items. So you'll get uh, beef and you'll get pork, all the, all the meat and hide and stuff from killing animals, but without killing the animals. Um, and I just set up a few of them. They have to be they have to have a piece of grass below them Which I do have below them. They have to be touching five blocks, and then I have these set up. Here's the bait um, There's different types of bait. There's fruit bait grain bait and uh, The green one I can't think of what it's called Off the top of my head, but it's probably this one right here The veggie bait and each one of those uh, pulls up different animals, and I just have it uh, exporting and blacklisted so that it doesn't pull that stuff out and it pulls everything else out so that's all done and then this thing is a water trap now it does require bait as well um, I let it all run because I wanted to see what all things we can get and here are all the different things you can get uh, you get all the fish from Pam's Harvest Craft this way um, so yeah pretty nice you also get vanilla fish as well as you can see the raw salmon 
and there was a few others, the clownfish and the raw fish. All that is good to go. And then I have just a basic wheat farm set up. But yeah, I have all this stuff here. I went ahead and took a stack of each and uh, put them in there because there is tons of this stuff, as you can see. Um, and it didn't take very long to gather all of this craziness right here. Um, same with these guys, they just went around. You can bone mill them and get tons of, uh, tons of the, like, the banana if you just hit a bone mill it. Uh, you'll just have tons of the stuff. But yeah, you just right click on these and you'll gather its items. Pretty simple. But yeah, so uh, we can go cook with all this Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. Alright, so we're over here, we're going to cook up some stuff. Um, I wanted to talk about some beef wellington, that's something that Direwolf always makes, and I always see that he makes it, and then I looked and I was like, well now I know why he makes it, because that is a full health bar and full saturation off of something really simple to make. Um, if we look up beef wellington, it is really easy to make. Um, it just requires the dough, and if you have this set up um, to make auto make flour, and have your system set up to where it has water in it, which I do I have a thing that shows how to make water. You're good to go. Like the mixing bowl is a constant use. Um, but man, this thing is easy to make as long as you have some kind of beef there. And it looks like uh, toe steak, to toe fake, raw toe fake. I don't know what this is. Must be like some kind of tofu thing. Yeah, as long as you have some of these items and mushrooms and like you're good to go like I can make probably more of them as long as I have the dough to make it and the dough I think I have it set up auto crafting so I just hit one it'll say it's miss missing a mixing bowl so if I go over here and say all right I want a mixing bowl to be auto craftable I also did this I forgot to mention this I just expanded this. Also, don't break your crafting um, storage that has all your, your stuff in it, otherwise you'll lose all of your stuff that you had already stored and made. Um, so now I have 36 pages just by expanding it this far. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, so now I have all of this storage. I don't think I have to upgrade this forever. I think it's done. Um, and it just basically, I just filled the rest of the space up. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, we can go ahead and make the beef wellington. I think, not beef wellington, beef. There we go, and I should be able to make one, and it should make itself pretty fast. And there we go, we have another beef wellington. So yeah, this stuff is really easy to make. And this is all through Pam's Harvest Craft, and if we look at Harvest Craft, You'll see there is tons of stuff we can make. Uh, the food alone is snacks in itself, which uh, don't do very much, but they do feed you a little bit. Um, here are the, the traps that I was talking about. This is the ground trap that I use, and this is the fishing trap. Um, the beehives and the jelly and the, or the honey and stuff like that, I'm not quite sure how to get that in Sky Factory. Like an apiary? <clears throat> I don't think the apri apiary will allow you to capture bees. I think you have to put the queen bees or, or whatever in the apiaries to make honey and stuff. But you get beehives off of trees. So not quite sure how to get these. Like they can be burned but yeah. I don't know. And I've not gotten any beehives from our quantum quarry. So uh, let's see, queen bees. Nope, nothing there. We do have tons of ore. Because this has been going forever. We have 6.9 thousand uh, iron ore. So yeah, that's a lot. Uh, 12,000 coal. I went ahead and made all of these 64k storages. Um, so that way I, I could let the quarries run and not have to worry about them. But yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys, I've upgraded all of this good stuff right here. And I also destroyed my old farm that was over here. No need for it anymore now that I have these points. And, oh, I wanted to show you this. Oh, this is so much better. Okay, so instead of the 
things I had on here. Somebody uh, pointed out in the comments that if you put the points on the top of them, they will work. And they do. They do work. And where it took 15 minutes or whatever to make the other item, the, uh, what's it called? With Draconic Evolution. To make the Awakened Draconian Block, it, yeah, it doesn't take very long at all. So yeah, it, it, it's really fast to make it now. Um, all of the crafting recipes that um, require power now take no time at all. Um, because I have them all set to unlimited, so it basically fills it uh, straight away. Like it takes, it takes whatever the buffer in here is. So yeah. Also, I went ahead and I have this portal set up now. And I went ahead and set up this guy down here. I went ahead and he tried the RF tools thing and it does work quite well. I can't complain. Um, what you do is you take this redstone receiver and then you make a you make a transceiver and a receiver. You put the transceiver down and put it in the direction that the arrow is pointing so that your redstone signal goes into the the item. And then with the receiver in your hand, you right click on the transceiver to get the right channel so that they're linked. And then you just place it wherever in the world that you want it to uh, to work. And when every time I slip this lever on, I should be getting wither spawning. And they should automatically be killed. And I turn this off to uh, stop the signal so that way our system turns off over there. So yeah, how neat is that? And as you can see, also set a uh, reinforced drums from extra utilities over here. And it holds 4 million buckets, it looks like. Or 4,000 buckets, sorry, of experience. Right now we have 21 buckets in here. Um, but uh, I just wanted a mass way to store them things. Uh, you see we got bonus stuff in here. That's from skeletons and stuff spawning inside. And creepers and stuff like that. But uh, the, the this right here is what I wanted. So I have a bunch of stars in here. And this episode, I kind of wanted to make a... Generator. Just to see how much power we can actually make. And I do have the crafting of the auto crafted ready to go. So if we look at the generator, I have right here another star generator all the way up to MK3. And I wanted to make one of these guys, and I hope I have enough now. It requires one bottle of Dragon's Breath, which is pretty expensive. It requires 64 nether stars. That's really expensive. Um, it's going to require a lot of the Wither Skull Essence for the heads. And it's just some things to remember. Um, also, I set this up so that way I could separate my alloys from my furnace. So I didn't have to manually switch it. It is getting kind of messy here. Yeah, it's kind of messy. Honestly, I don't, I don't think this has to even be here. Yeah, that doesn't have to be there. But yeah, this is getting kind of messy. But let's let's see how fast this can make it. Let's go ahead and make one. And it looks like it's just going to need the vibrant alloy. And that's about it. Cuz it's going to need these guys. So yeah, we'll let them let them craft up. I want to show you guys a few other things. All right, so I have the storage drawers still set up and they are gathering a lot of resources. Um, this is why with the emeralds, I did not have a problem. Like I have a bunch of emerald blocks. Like I have a bunch of diamond blocks. Like items are not that big of a deal no more. Also, I wanted to get all this done. So I basically hooked up an item conduit to a chest and now I should be good. This guy is empty, unfortunately. It was holding a lot of fluid. Um, looks like it's not even working anymore. Oh, I can go ahead and break this because that's a lot of, a lot of stuff. Let's see, put this to insert. Now we're getting on, now we're getting it back again. Okay, so yeah. Um, I can go ahead and put this back on here. There we go. Insert. Perfect. This is going to suck it out probably faster than it could go in. 
But yeah, I want to eventually replace this with uranium. I don't think I have any yet. I can probably check though. I do. I do have some uranium. Um, let's see if this actually works. I, they did say it was 20 times. Just kind of afraid that with me holding it, it gives me some kind of effect. Okay, it doesn't. Um, let's get my buckets. Perfect. I need three. Let's get the fire water out of here. And let's put these blocks down here. It is at 20 times. Okay, so it does work. These uranium blocks does 20 times. So that's awesome. Hopefully there's no negative effect to having that. Yeah, it seems to be working just fine. Hopefully this can keep up. The only problem. Because he is not the top tier. But, oh well. It looks like it's working great. That's 20 times lava production. That's awesome. We have all of this obsidian. I kind of wanted to use it to make some more of those uh, portals from Draconic Evolution. Because those portals are pretty awesome. Alright, so... We'll see if our generator's done. And it is. Our generator is done. Uh, we're also going to need, not a point, but a... Um, What is it called? I always forget. Not the flux core. Oh, I guess I lost the recipe for it. For the flux plug. Okay, so I needed to make a recipe for the flux plug. And do we have a flux block? Nope, I don't. So I need to make a recipe for it. And what else was there? Flux. I kind of want to make a recipe for that, but that's later. And those I already have recipes for. So, should be able to auto-craft that. Take our plug. Can I create it? I'm missing flux cores. Five out of three. Okay, flux core. Yeah, this is why you don't want to... Okay, so we don't have a thing for that. So we have to make another recipe. There we go. Make a recipe for the flux core. And hopefully that's enough. Now I should be able to make the plug, hopefully. Ah, we don't have a recipe for the Eye of Ender. Okay, I did lose quite a few of my crafting recipes when I broke that, so bear with me for a moment. I do want to get these guys done. These are really important to have auto-crafted. Okay. Bam. Now we can make it. There we go. Okay, so we have the that, and let's get some nether stars. I think we'll just try one for now. And where do I want to put this guy? Probably somewhere near. Not, not here. And we can put the plug on it. Select the network. It doesn't matter. I'll set it to solar power. Why not? And set this to true. And we should be good. Now when I put this in here, bam. That's generating a lot of energy. Uh, it's already filled its buffer. And that's 16 million it holds and it filled the 16 million almost instantly. Okay, so that's a lot of energy for one nether star. Yeah. I don't think I have to worry about this. I should be tearing it up sooner. But I need more draconium. That's the problem. Um, I do have a lot of draconium I can make elsewhere or mine it manually. Not really into that. 
Um, we do have a lot of the Dacronium Essence. And I have 24 of these guys. I could try and do that. What is this? This has uh, efficiency. This has fortune. So, can I vein mine with my awesome pick? I hope. Alright, let's try to vein mine with this guy. And we can. Sweet, so we do get quite a bit of that. Is this the furnace? Yes. So yeah, so we have a bunch of Draconium. I have a bunch of Pam Harvest Craft going on. I kind of wanted to show a few of the Pam Harvest Craft items that I should have used early game, like the ground trap and stuff, but I learn something new all the time. And it's weird to see a pineapple growing like this. Because I'm pretty sure they come, they come from trees. At least I thought they did. Maybe I'm wrong. Eh. I don't remember. Oh well. Um, but yeah. When this thing gets full, it'll, it puts everything into here. So, there was kind of a buffer with the mustard seeds and coffee beans and stuff like that. So, I don't think I have as many. I've, I've, yeah, I don't have as many as like three stacks of like you see of other things. But yeah. So, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of this space because I think this is all the crops. Like, this is all of the seeds besides like pumpkin and, and watermelon. And things like that. What I could do is set up another generator that can I can pump the stuff into that generator, the culinary generator, I think, or bio generator. Is there a bio generator? It's a bio reactor. It's it looks like uh, uses all types of seeds, food stuff, and plants to generate RF. But it doesn't tell me how much RF. Yeah, this could uh, generate RF. I'll probably use a bunch of those. There is, let's see. Is there another kind of bio absorber? Place this block in an area and it will gradually absorb the essence of the biome. It is in, you can use it. Oh, you can use the end result in the Dimlet workshop. Okay. That's not what we need. Uh, biome scanner. That's biome stuff. I need, let's see. Generators. Is there a overclocked? What are the overclocked? It does. Survival, where is it at? Basically, we have to have all these set up to create the rainbow generator, which generates like 25 million RF. Let's see. I'm not really seeing anything that... Nether star generator. I wonder how much that one generates. Oh, there's a... Nope, there's not. Thought there was a colon there's a culinary generator. So the culinary generator may work. I think the culinary generator does work with all this stuff. But yeah, so I just set the market in the middle. Just in case. I don't I don't really need it anymore now that I have everything. Um also wanted to show you this. These guys are almost a tier ten. Let's see, let's get these guys. They are pooping out eggs like crazy. Let's get you in here. Bam. So these guys are tier nine, I think. This is a tier 10. Yeah, they're, they're already shooting out ants like crazy. But this is a tier 10, 10, 9. I'm needing tier 10s. 10, 10s. Over here, this is going nuts because it's going to fill this really fast. But yeah, so these guys are doing their thing. There's a tier 10. I think these guys are not tier 10. They are tier 10. This one's not. 
Oh, they are. Oh, so these are tier 10s. Alright, so these are done. These guys are tier 10s. But I want to get the redstone chicken. Which I don't know which ones are the best. These are tier 4 5s. What are these guys? Tier 1s. Tier 7, 6. I kind of need to get in here. Get out of my way. Okay, tier 4, tier 5. Tier 4, tier 5. Okay, so I'm seeing tier 4. He's a high tier. Wonder why I only have one of him. Unless he's over there. Do not jump off the edge. Thank you very much. Okay, so. If I set him here. And I mix the redstone. If I mix the... See, to get glass chickens. You need the redstone with the quartz. So I need my gold chickens over here. Redstone's chickens over here. Mix you guys. And you should be good to go. And then to get the... Diamond chicken. You need the gold chicken with the glass chicken. Okay. So these guys should start producing. What in the world? You guys are shooting things out like crazy. So I'll just throw all this stuff away. Because I don't need it. I just want to see what you guys are giving. So those are 10, 10, 10s. This is honestly all garbage. Oh man. I don't think I can handle all the chickens shooting stuff out that fast, being tens. Yeah, these guys should start producing. So, awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's a little uh, catch-up episode here. Um, I did a lot of work. I removed that little thing that I had put on top of here stuff like that but like I said if you enjoyed this episode please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give that video a thumbs up and as always I'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching